probably can't see them here, but there's two loons right there. So I wanted to get the Roliflex out, but it has some color film in it. It's got Portra 400 in it right now, and I'm kind of waiting until we get some more color around here. So that's not going to go. This guy is the same kind of deal here. My Leica has Velvia 50 in it, believe it or not, and it's kind of a special film. And there is a few shots taken from it. I think I've gotten 10 off the roll from the island, so I'm going to wait for more color. This would be good because I do have an ND filter for the uh, Summicron 50, which would work. So instead, I'm going to take this guy here. This is my Canon AE-1, and I have a 28 mil lens on it right now. I've got an ND filter for it, and I'll bring the 50 mil as well with an ND filter. Right now, it's got black and white film in it, some of this stuff. So what I'll do, I'll finish this roll up, and I'll develop them both, and uh, I'll show you what I got. So it's starting to green up in here. Uh, I took you guys through here in the winter. So this never freezes up, of course. It's spring water, so you can drink it. And if I'm passing through, I'll end up bringing a camera with me and uh, hike up there a little bit and uh, get some photos, hopefully. I've got a 90 degree uh, viewfinder on this thing. What's nice about this uh, Canon AE-1 is you have a timer mode on it. So when you're doing these half second exposures, you know, you don't want it moving. So I've got on timer mode right now by putting this over here and then uh, take the shot it'll blink there it goes so I'm shooting this guy it's a hundred ISO film f16 and I'm shooting about a half a second shutter speed just another little water feature here might be good might not be I won't know until it's developed no chimping with a film camera. So these 90 degree viewfinders, they are game changer for this stuff. You know, you don't have an LCD screen here, so you can't uh, look at it. It doesn't tilt and flip and do all that stuff. So, um, you know, having this is definitely awesome if you're shooting low. This is called a dark bag. It looks like a t-shirt, but it isn't. There's no hole here for your noodle. Basically, this bag has a zipper at the bottom. You load all your crap into the bag, and then you stick your arms through here so no light gets in. It's got nice elastic bands around your arms, and then you do all your work in the dark bag. You're gonna need a beer cap opener right there. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, but you don't want a pointy sharp pair of scissors because you don't wanna be poking the dark bag. And the film will go in there as well. I'm gonna use a, a larger Patterson tank. You can also develop medium format 120 film in this as well. The two spools will go in there. You'll need this for the Patterson tank, this for the tank, and that's kind of what you're doing. So once you get everything in the bag, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop the film out of these containers with this guy and it just pops off. You pull the film out, you cut the edge so it's square. This is all inside the dark bag, eh? So it's, uh, it's frustrating the first 20 times you do it, you just wanna whip it against the wall. And then you feed your film in here and then once it's fed in there, you crank the spools and it winds up so, and it fills the spool. Do that two times and then you put it on here. This is all inside the bag, film's on there. Drop this in the tank. Put this guy on. This is light proof right now. That goes like that. So basically, it's, it, there's no light getting in the film. You can still pour fluid and so on in it, but there's no light. Uh, put the top on if you want. You don't need to. And now that gets the developer and the fixer. Here I use uh, Ilford HC, and I use a 1 to 31 dilution, 68 degrees. I put it in here. Make sure it's 68 degrees, and then you pour it in the Patterson tank, and then I use this guy. This stuff's awesome. Formulary, this is my fixer, and that's mixed here with some water, and then I use the fixer. I hang it up to dry, scan it, where you go. All right, it's done. Well, it's in the tank. So that's it there. So I'm in the basement lab, also known as the laundry room. 
This is my measurement for 131. So I've got one part developer and 31 parts water. So this is the mark here for two rolls. And basically I'm just gonna run the water. I need it at 68 degrees. I'll make sure it's that much. I'll fill it up to there and then I'll add my uh, developer. There you go, I filled it up here with 68 degree water, just a little bit of hot and cold water to get the right temperature using the thermometer. Now I'm gonna top it up with the uh, developer to 31 mark there. Here it is all mixed up, ready to go. I'm gonna dump it in the tank. I'm gonna develop this for six minutes. Basically what that means is at each minute mark, I'm gonna rotate this about four or five times let it sit and then next minute do it again for a total of six minutes and then I will dump it out and put in the fixer and finish it off. So I did this six minutes with the developer. Uh, it's gone now and I gave this stuff a quick rinse and now I have the fixer in it. The fixer I just pour in and shake this thing around. I'll, I'll get some chores done or whatever for about five minutes and then uh, I'll dump the fixer back in to its container. This stuff is all reusable. So I've rinsed it for about 10 minutes now and it's just soaking for a couple more minutes. I've got some soap in there with it and what that does is when you pull the film out of the water it stops any air bubbles from forming on the film. This can be the most annoying part and it is sketchy. I mean if you've taken some amazing shots and you're trying to develop them yourself and uh, you screw up um, you know you lose the roll. So and right now we'll be able to tell if I've got something on this film or not. And let's take a look. There's the first roll. Basically I'm going to pop it off the spool by just cranking it and then it opens up. There's the film. I don't know if there's anything good on there yet. So there it is. And yeah, looking beauty. Look at that. So I know I have something on there, so I'm happy. Okay, next one here. And fingers crossed. There you go. And let's see what we got. Yep, we're good to go. That is awesome. So you can tell. Uh, you know, I've pulled them out of the roll here. Look at that. I can see the trees in that shot. I've pulled, you know, a roll of film out of here and it was blank, nothing on it. So that can be depressing or fun. So I'm just hanging it off the rafters here in the dungeon and I'll let it dry for about an hour before scanning it. Hey, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And that was just a quick kind of rundown of how I develop my film stuff. I love shooting film. I, I love shooting digital as well, but film is to me the next level. Uh, there's a lot of anxiety in it. I love shooting mechanical cameras. We'll get into the Leica stuff soon and uh, a couple other cameras as well. Anyway, get into it. It's not that hard to do and it's uh, it sounds complicated. And the first couple times will mess you up, but um, once you get into it, it's quick and easy. I can do two rolls in about 15 to 20 minutes and have them hanging to dry.